welcome back to another video to the channel today is monday it is currently 5 58 almost six o'clock and i'm probably about to start prepping my dinner um i don't know if you guys watch my second huge grocery haul but if you haven't already make sure you guys check that out but the reason why I'm mentioning the grocery haul is because I picked up some hamburger helper, the stroganoff flavor, and I've never made this before, y'all, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I was just online looking up the recipe, well, not the recipe, but like the measurements and everything for this stuff. Apparently, you're only supposed to add ground beef, hot water, and milk to it. So it doesn't sound too complicated. <clears throat> this is the um, recipe they give you, the instructions on how to make it. So, fingers crossed, dinner comes out good tonight, and hopefully everybody's happy with the finished product. My son is not very big on eating meat, so I'm not too sure how he's going to feel about the meat being in it, but I feel like that's what gives it the flavor. So, yeah, y'all, fingers crossed this comes out well. I just wanted to jump on here. I know I'm looking a little crazy and crusty. But that is because I've been spending like the last two, three hours getting my laundry and stuff like that done. What is that light in my camera? I don't know. There's like this orb right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I don't know. It looks really weird. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. So I've been spending like the last two, three hours running around getting my laundry done. Um washing the baby's clothes linen and things like that that we needed washed around the house and yeah i'm probably going to get dinner started and maybe another i want to say hour and a half i don't want to start cooking too late but then i also don't want to cook too early and then the food sits and it's soggy but yeah y'all i want to i wanted to show you guys um, a little bit of the process of me cooking so at some point I will probably just jump back on and show you guys me prepping everything for it it literally like I said only takes the ground beef a little bit of milk and some water it comes with some noodles and I guess a seasoning pack for the flavor the stroganoff flavor I do have um I'm hoping that the seasoning tastes well because I probably will like season my meat up just a little bit to add flavor. But I'm hoping it comes out really well, y'all. This is supposed to be like a quick alternative to making like a whole full course dinner. And y'all know I'm pretty much the only person who cooks for my family. So your girl be getting tired of cooking all the time. But it is what it is so hopefully this will be a cute little alternative to cooking big meals all the time i'm hoping and praying this will be a nice little you know dish to make that the boys will enjoy that i will like to make for them and you know eat also but um yeah y'all i'm probably going to go back downstairs to switch my laundry out um it's not even my laundry. I have laundry to do for myself also, but I've literally had so been backed up with getting so many other things washed that I haven't even been um, able to start my laundry yet. Right now, I have the baby's clothes in the dryer and then some towels and wash racks in the washing machine. Hey Y'all, so I, I guess I'll just jump back on once I am back in the kitchen. Yes. And ready to actually prep any everything. So I guess I'll just see you guys in a little bit. So I'm back. I'm about to start prepping my dinner. This is the ground beef that I'm going to be using. Once I have this in the pot and starting to cook up, I will show you guys what it looks like. So the ground beef is in the pan. It just has to pretty much just 
chop it up, break it up as you usually would, like when you make tacos, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm not really sure if I'm going to season it too much because I don't want to change the flavor too much, but I'll probably just add a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of adobo. So once I have this seasoned up and brown a little bit more, I will come back in. Right, so this is what the ground beef is looking like so far i already added my seasonings i put a little bit of adobo garlic powder onion powder and a little bit of black pepper so as you guys can see it has browned some but there are like a few pieces in the mixture that are not completely cooked thoroughly so once i finish cooking this thoroughly i'm going to go ahead and drain this and then go ahead and start adding the water, the milk, and then the noodles and the seasoning packet that comes in it. So once it's time to do all that, I will jump back on and show you guys what everything looks like. And I have my King's Hawaiian Hawaiian Sweet Roll set here. And I am going to take a few of the dinner rolls out, butter these up, and pop them in the oven to, has a, to have as a nice side to the pasta. So this is going to just be a little added bonus. I was going to make garlic bread, but I think I'm going to save that for another night when I make either Alfredo or um, regular spaghetti. So we're going to try the dinner rolls out with this. And once I have these buttered up and laid out, I'll show you guys what it this looks like. This is the um, Hawaiian rolls now that I um, cut them in half and buttered them up. I'm about to pop these in the oven. And I did wanna just come back on and show you guys what the stroganoff is looking like thus far. I did go ahead and drain the ground beef out. And then I added the water, the milk, the seasoning pack, and the noodles. Now it does say to go ahead and reduce the heat, cover it, and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. So I'm about to go ahead and find a lid to fit this pan and cover it so that the noodles can soften up and cook down. But I just wanted to briefly come on and show you guys what everything is looking like thus far. The next time I probably I will probably see you guys will be once everything is done. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So this is what the dinner rolls are looking like now that they have come out the oven. They have a little bit of a toast around the edges and nice and soft and buttery in the center. So I just wanted to jump back on and show you guys what they're looking like so far. This is what the stroganoff is looking like thus far. It's taking forever for the noodles to soften up, but this is the progress that I've made thus far. This is what it looks like once everything is done. Alright guys, so this is dinner. I did go ahead and garnish it with a little bit of fresh parsley, but this is pretty much the end result guys. As you can see, it is piping hot. It is super fresh. So the baby is super, super hungry and so am I. I'm going to go ahead and um, get us ready to eat dinner. So I thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Please be sure to share, comment, and subscribe. Drop some Jimmy Gems in the comments down below. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. I love you guys so much, and thanks again for watching. Bye!